Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome back. This is part three of my free accounting basics course. If you've joined the course here, then please go back and watch part one and part two. The videos are created in a very specific order for a very specific reason. So please go back and watch the previous two videos before continuing with this one. In this third and final video, I'm going to go through financial statements with you, namely the profit and loss statement and the balance sheet. Now, the reason why I'm going to go through those two financial statements is they are the most commonly used and analyzed statements in the world of business and accounting. Creating financial statements. Now, there are five points on this slide and you'll notice that each of these points is one of the terms that I went through and explained in the previous video. So we have sales, expenses, assets, liabilities and equity. So in the previous video I went through each of those points and explained what that term meant. Now sales and expenses are kept separate from assets, liabilities and equity the reason being sales and expenses is what creates the first financial statement that we're going to look at, which is the profit and loss statement. The balance sheet is compiled using assets, liabilities and equity. Now you can see why I chose those financial terms in the previous video, because these are the things that create financial statements. So let's look at a profit and loss statement first. So the profit and loss statement is compiled of sales and expenses. Now this is a very basic profit and loss statement. You'll be able to see that we have sales at the top. So this will be the sales turnover or revenue for a business. We then have cost of sales or minus cost of sales gives us the gross profit for the business. We then minus expenses or overheads that will then give us the net profit of the business. Now what's the difference between cost of sales and expenses? Well cost of sales in a way are expenses they're just the expenses that have a direct relationship with providing a sale. It's the cost of providing a sale hence the term cost of sales. So as an example if we were selling ice cream, if I had an ice cream store and are selling ice cream, the cost of sale would be my cost of purchasing the ice cream or making the ice cream. If I'm buying ice cream at wholesale and then selling it at a profit, the cost of sale is the, the actual ice creams, the actual product. It has a direct relationship with selling. I cannot sell unless I have that ice cream. Whereas expenses are going to be things like my travel costs, insurance, perhaps advertising costs, accounting fees. These things don't have a direct relationship with sales. I can still provide sales without those things, but I cannot provide sales without actually having a product to sell. So that's why those two things are separated. So gross profit is sales minus cost of sales, whereas net profit is the gross profit minus the expenses, or in other words, sales minus all the outgoings, all the expenses equals the net profit. Now sometimes you'll hear about gross profit margin or net profit margin or margins. That's just referring to this gross profit and net profit. Sometimes it's shown as a percentage and we'll look at that on the next slide. So here's an example, profit and loss example. We have sales at the top, 50,000 minus cost of sales, which is 20,000. So that gives us a gross profit of 30,000. Now I've used the pound symbol for this, but this could be US dollars or euros or Japanese yen. It doesn't really matter. It's still the same principle. So we have our gross profit. We then minus our expenses or overheads, which are 5,000, which gives us a net profit of 25,000. So you can see from sales what we're doing is really breaking the figure down step by step until we have the actual profit figure for the business or entity. 
Now, if we wanted to show margin percentages, we simply just need to work out the percentage of net profit compared to sales and gross profit compared to sales. So looking at these figures, the net profit, I believe, is 50% of the sales. We have 50% profit from sales, so the net margin would be 50%, whereas gross profit, we are looking at 60% gross profit, 50% net profit so that's the profit and loss statement as mentioned in previous videos if you have any questions leave them below you can also drop me an email my email details are on my website so what is the balance sheet i mentioned that sales and expenses create the profit and loss what creates the balance sheet we have assets liabilities and equity so let's look at a balance sheet so this is how the balance sheet looks we have assets and total assets. We then have liabilities and equity, and then total liabilities and equity. Now, total assets is underlined, and so is total liabilities and equity. That's underlined also. The reason this is called a balance sheet is because total assets, the figure here, should equal the figure here. So total assets will equal total liabilities and equity and if we have a look at an example we have assets of 25,000 pounds euros yen us dollars it doesn't matter total assets 25,000 we then have liabilities and equity 15 and 10 which also equals 25,000 so you can see our balance sheet balances we have 25,000 here and 25,000 here and that's the basics of a balance sheet so a profit and loss shows the profitability of a business. It shows the amount of sales. And you can have this year by year or month by month, a column for each month, each year, each week, and then compare different periods. But it, overall, it shows the profitability of a business or entity. The balance sheet shows what the business or company owns and owes. It's a list of the entity's assets and liabilities. I really hope that this series has helped you. I have many more free accounting courses all on my website freebookkeepingaccounting.com. If you head over there it's all for free. There's no registration required. Just take the courses, enjoy them. If you want to get in touch with me then I do have uh, an email address listed on that website. There are more advanced courses than this. If you want to now learn bookkeeping, I have a free bookkeeping course, which is really great. There are lots of other courses, though. I also offer accounting services and bookkeeping services. If you have a limited company in the UK, I can definitely help you. Just go over to my website to find out more.